morning, I'm Mr. Lopez. I am the criminal justice teacher for Aikens High School Able Academy, uh, one of the uh, CJ majors. Uh, for year one, we're doing law one of principles of law, court systems, law enforcement two, and then our new internship, which we're really excited about, is the criminal justice corrections internship certification 2011-2012, coming to a place near you. Business, finance, some of our classes are articulated with ACC or the state colleges so that you can get for free college credit for high school courses. Hi, interested in ROTC? Hope you are, because basically ROTC helps you do a whole bunch of stuff. We got you. And basically, basically, you go to ropes course and stuff. You can play paintball. Now I know those who kind of don't like your friends and stuff, and kind of want to get back at them. Paintball's the perfect thing to do that. <laughs> you can get away with it. And teaching you military leadership, so good to go. Okay, so what our program is, is the ACES Academy, and what we're showing students is FFA, which means you raise your livestock and you get money out of it. My name is Femi Jimenez and I represent the class called IED. Uh, this is a class where you can take a challenge and build stuff, sketch out in your notebook that you get, and then you do an in inventor, it's a software that we use to create pieces of a, of a cube or something like that, like the one we did. And then after that, you just create it in real life. which is IT principles. We do PowerPoints about like the BP oil spill. We just currently did that one. Um, if I had a million dollars, if I were president, pretty much things that state your opinion. So join Pitt and have fun. Hello, my name is Brendan Conley. I represent AP Computer Sciences. Right over here, I have my program that is called Text to Binary Translator. What you do is you type in anything any number, any symbol, any letter, uppercase, lowercase, anything. It'll translate it into its binary equivalent. Hello, my name is Jesse Trevino, and I am a junior this year, you know, graduating next year. It's a really fun program because, you know, you get to learn skills that it'll take with you for the rest of your life, and you get to help animals, and animals don't have really voices, so, you know, you help those who can't help themselves pretty much and it's a really good program and I'm having tons of fun in it and you know I hope that these kids you know really get involved in this because it's something that I'm really proud I got involved in.
organization that we support through contemporary issues. Uh, we, we do the Battle of the Bands through them. We have two rounds, one in January and one in May. Um, the second round is going to be at the Mohawk downtown. Um, and we also partner in Humanities with Austin Film Festival. All of our Humanities kids write the screenplays and they pick three. And those three get filmed here on campus in May and then they get shopped around to short film festivals throughout the country. I'm Vivian Holland Medina and I'm here to showcase the art department. We have examples of Art One, which we do with all of our Art One students. We have pen and ink and some shading examples. And then we have some painting examples, pen and ink, collage, printmaking, shading for drawing two. We offer Art One, drawing two, painting two, three and four, printmaking two, three and four, and AP Art History. This is video game design. Uh, first, you got to take animation, learn how to do cartoons like Family Guy, Simpsons, and stuff first, and that class. And then, like you, after the four years, you learn how to make video games. I made this one. It's a fun game. I mean, and also, if you want to major in gaming, what's also good is you have to graduate with a fine art credit. And it's also good is to take art as your credit because it helps you draw and animate stuff. You know, it helps you. Uh, draw your landmarks, your textures, your human body. That's also good to help you out. You get, um, you get college credit for being in this class. If you do uh, graphic uh, design, I mean, like video game design. Hello, I'm Joe Broom and I teach the digital media major. The first class, you can see back there, is digital interactive media. Then you take animation, then advanced animation, video game design, and at the same time that you take video game design, you can also take um, Problems and Solutions, which is an independent study class. And you can talk to Dr. Holly, our choir director, to see um, some of that. And um, you can talk to him about being an advanced choir. Um, Instead of just being, starting a beginning choir with all the ones who just want to get the credit out of the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. joining theater, I mean, you need a fine arts credit to graduate, it's fun, you get to act, you get to build if you want to be in tech, you don't even have to be good at acting, come on, it's so much fun, I mean, I messed up, you know. Are you interested in dance? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, for freshmen, we have a dance one class of hip-hop and um, pre-drill that are offered to freshmen and if they want to try out for the JV Sapphire team you can also do that so that you have more practice for the Diamond team, the varsity team once you're a sophomore and um, it's also P credit for freshmen. So. Thank you! Okay so for your freshman year you can be a Sapphire and if you don't want to be a Sapphire yet that's the team you can be in dance one or you can be in hip hop or you can be in pre-drill and it helps you be able to become a diamond. And you don't have to be a diamond. If you want to dance, you can be in a dance major. You can take all these classes. You have dance one, dance two, dance three, dance four. And if you want to be a diamond, it's really fun. You get to dance on the football field. You get to, um, you have competition. You get to be in spring show. And if you don't want to do that, since you're a freshman this year, you can go on the JV Sapphire team. And it's really fun. You make so many friends. And um, you also go to competition, and you also get to be in spring show, and it's really fun. You should do it. Okay, so in our guitar class, we do many things. Um, we have competitions, we have trips, we have um, like UIO competition, and we play shows and gigs that people you know, just randomly gigs. Um, we have teachers from Awesome uh, Guitar Society and they come and they teach us um, everything we need to know, correct posture, technique, you know, reading music, stuff like that. Um, once you join the class freshman year, you go up every every year, every level, it gets harder and harder, more advanced. Um, this March, actually, we're going to New York to um, for a couple of days and we're just going to have competitions and this weekend we have um, another competition, it's UIL and the um, Austin, all Austin, 
our society. <laughs> Should everybody join band or color guard? It's a great experience. It prepares you for the real world. It does because you have to be here every day, really and you have late. To work really, really, really hard. Really hard, which is a good thing. Correct. It is a good <laughs> thing. And you also get to perform all kinds of really fun music. All kinds of really fun music. And how often? All the time. All the time. So it's a great opportunity to get a lot of experience doing a lot of really good things, right? It very much so is. It is. So enjoy Banner Guard. Yeah! So what do you do to get into the newspaper or your book? Um, you have to go through a process which is uh, journalism or photojournalism. Journalism, you learn how to write about pictures. And photojournalism, you learn how to work with cameras. You create your own camera. Then you go with the film camera. You learn how to develop film. Then you learn a digital camera. And you just learn about like the buttons, exposure, and after you go through that process, you either get to enter into yearbook or journalism for the next three years, hopefully, and you start off your freshman year. And do you do any writing in photojournalism? Um, we actually have a blog site that the teacher makes us do, and the pictures that you take, you actually put them on your blog, and you like learn how to write photo captions or essays about the pictures. So, yeah, you pretty much blog. Okay, and how many years can you take these classes? Photojournalism or journalism one year, your first year, and then the next three years or two years or whatever, you um, do yearbook or journalism, or yearbook and newspaper. Hi, I'm Ronnie. Hi, I'm Kenny. And we're going to talk to you about Aiken's New Tech. New Tech is project-based learning, and what we do is we learn everything through projects and professionalism. Uh, we give speeches and learn how to talk to adults. New Tech is a project-based learning, and we learn also from our student, our fellow students. New Tech is a good way to prepare for college. New Tech helps you uh, cooperate with your fellow students. It helps you cooperate with your fellow teachers. New Tech is also a great way to manage, learn how to manage your time. Being an athlete, I also learned how to manage my time and be able to practice as well as I, also, as I do. New Tech is a great way to also learn. We work in groups and learn how to communicate with people, not just adults, but students also. Um, we, you can be in any other academy and still be in New Tech, and um, we have a way to talk to teachers that no other people do. Um, our principal, Mr. Makeup, knows how to leave the door open just in case we need to talk to him, and they support us through everything, through sports and through our academics. Uh, they have a tutoring that we go to, and um, with Echo, we learn how to like manage our time and go, to, go at home and be able to do our work at home too, not just at school. Social Services is a academy that has like a lot of options that you can do in which you can go to interpersonal studies in which we talk about nutrition, we talk about crisis, the relationships with children to adults and how they affect your life and how they are really important and you can become um, a community service coordinator and you can help others improve with like bad relationships and it teaches you many things about life overall. Hi, um, I'm Marissa Vasquez and I'm Francesca Reynas and we are in the Social Service Academy majoring for Ready, Set, Teach. Uh, I am a senior and I'm in the Ready, Set, Teach 2 uh, program and I currently interned with um, a math teacher at Paredes, at Paredes Middle School. So if you're interested in teaching or coaching or have some experience with children, you, know, you can also do elementary. It's very fun. Yeah, and I'm actually an intern with the elementary kids. I actually do pre-K. It's really fun. You get to pretty much have your own class and teach them. You get the real experience of what it's like to be a teacher, have the tables like turn instead of the teacher teaching you. You get to experience yeah, what that's like. It's really fun. It's a really good program. I'm Misty Lindsay and I'm representing the Human Services Branch of the Social Services Academy. Uh, we have two different sides of this major. We have the social work side, which uh, it culminates in family community services, which is an internship class of social work. Or we have the mental health strand, which is mental health AP psychology or counseling and mental health internship, which includes peer mediation.
We are Social Service Academy. <laughs> and some of our classes are Health Science 1. Our intro to Health Science, Health Science 1, CNA, Hospital, EMT, Pharmacy Tech, and Anatomy, and Microbiology, Pathopathology. And we're the smartest ones. <laughs> we are overall, if you want to help people, we help people. We make the most money, because this <laughs> never ends. Just help people. Hi, I'm Tanya. And I'm Larissa. And we represent Social Services Academy. And our classes are Pharmacy Tech, where you can get a certification and get good benefits and money before you graduate high school. It's a lot of fun. And we also have Phlebotomy, where you draw blood from people, and you can get certified in that, too. Hi, I'm Leon. I'm Alyssa. And we're representatives for the HST EMT course. Um, for this course, you have to be a senior, and you would really want to take it because you get certified to be an EMT in the basic category. And we learn how to do a lot of things like backboarding, CPR. Hi, my name is Brian Yannis. I'm with the STEM Academy here at Aikens High School. Hey guys, I'm Cheyenne and I'm with the STEM Academy at Aikens High School. Uh, the classes here are SIM, Computer Integrated Manufacturing, IED, Introduction to Engineering Design, POE, Principles of Engineering. And we've taken almost all the classes. I've taken almost all the classes. It's been fun. They've been great classes and you learn a lot of stuff. You also have lots of fun. You get to work hands-on, not like in the other academies where a lot of the time you do just paperwork, but here you get to work hands-on and do lots of programming. You'll do a lots of programming in here. You'll make rockets, you'll make uh, other uh, electronical stuff, you'll go with multi-sim, and you'll do all kinds of architectural work too. So if you're interested in architect, you will probably get in here and build uh, buildings and design them, and you know, there's arts and there's mathematics and science involved. There's also the advancements of using lots of technology, we uh, have some of the best computers at Aikens due to the programs that we use. Also, you get to use robots, uh, machining systems that can uh, cut pieces of wood and metal, and you just get the real hands-on experience. We would, if uh, we would like to show you the robot arm working around here. This is one of our programs that we worked on. This is all we do in STEM. <laughs> 